Hi everyone, this is Jen from Willy Wonka's Crochet in the UK. Just a very short video today, as many of you have been asking me um, to, to chat a bit about um, how I store my yarns, my storage units, and how I generally um, keep my colours and how I keep everything together. So I thought, yeah, okay, why not? So here goes. I get my units from um, Costco. They come in a pack of 16 cubes which are flat packed and you assemble them you can put them in any configuration you like although I do like um, the eight side by side as it, for me personally it suits my storage needs but like I say you can configure these any way you like um, they are just to show you they are really really strong um, and they just slot together they have very easy diagrams with them and they really are fantastic they're very sturdy and I think they're a really good price they're about 15 pounds uh, maybe 17 including that and like I say that's from Costco um, I think you can also buy these from Costco online places like Ikea Amazon um, they all do a similar kind of thing but I, I personally love these so let's start from the top I keep my packs of yarn on the top shelves I try to keep them in their plastic just because it protects them from dust um, and also I can easily see them, I, I know what colours I've got there so I can just grab them um, at a glance. So I've got my packs of yarn at the top there which are, I think these are the Aldi yarns um, and then moving along further I have my Aran balls, these are 400 gram balls, again I think they're Aldi ones. Then I keep some of my cakes, and I stress this strongly, this is just some of my yarn along the top here, moving along, you can see those. Um, oh, this here is Boo, Boo is my crochet um, house elf, and he obviously only comes out really at Christmas, but throughout the rest of the year he likes to chill out and guard over my yarn, so who am I to stop him? Right, so moving along to the bottom of the shelf. Right, so this is the top of the actual shelves. So we have our pinks moving along into our burgundies and our purples, moving down into our blues and aquas, into our pale blues and lilacs, more pale pinks. Then we have our creams going into our yellows, going into greens, reds, some oranges, some more beige, a muted colour, some cream, going into greys and blacks, going into some of the variegated yarns, and then along the bottom here some of the more sparkly Christmas yarns, and just there we have some chenille yarns. I've just noticed actually there are two empty at the bottom, so I have a delivery that is waiting to go away so they can fit into there. And these are some chenille yarns from Wool Warehouse. Just along the top here I have some of my Karen cakes and again I stress this is not all of my Karen cakes um, but just a few just to show you. Okay so that's basically it that's how I store uh, my yarns. I have got a lot more in my kitchen and my bedroom but we say that quietly. Um, and you know people ask me oh how come you've got so much yarn? I use it, you know, um, I have my own business, I do um, workshops and classes and groups, so I do get through it, and, uh, and obviously with my orders as well, um, it does go quickly, and some of it is just so pretty, I just like to look at it, but I have to say, I, I honestly do, I do use it, um, so yeah, so that's it, please do subscribe to my channel, Willy Wonka's Crochet, and um, just to add, I am over the next few weeks going to be doing a whole series of videos um, from everything you need um, to, to learn to crochet right up to some really advanced projects. And this is something I've been thinking about doing for a while and a lot of people have asked me to, but I just have not had the time. But now I'm going to focus on this because so many people are um, requesting it. So... I'm also, in the next week actually, going to be doing some yarn reviews. So picking out some of my favourite yarns from my haul 
and um, doing a short review on those. So like I say, please do subscribe because then you will be the first to, to hear about those reviews and also it makes me a very happy bunny. And um, yeah, so that's it basically. Just say hello to Misty. Hello Misty. <laughs> She's my beautiful kitty um, who always sits near me when I'm crocheting so she has to be included. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.